Okay, let's say you want to do a self portrait. So I've opened up my camera app here and I've gone into my portrait mode and I'm just gonna have some contour lighting and I've got an Apple Watch. So this is a really cool trick if you have an Apple Watch. So first thing you need to do, well, the first thing I need, I need to do is put my passcode in. So let me put my passcode in, there we go. So the next thing I need to do is I go to my settings and if I go to my little camera up there, I can control my iPhone camera with my Apple Watch. So let me just get into position. So I've got some side lighting. I've got this crazy hairdo here because I'm doing a funny selfie. Okay, so just getting prepped on my phone and I'm going to look at the camera and there we go. There's the flashes, three second timer and there is a picture all taken from my Apple Watch. If you don't have an Apple Watch, don't worry because all you would do is you would set the timer on your camera. So maybe set a five or 10 second timer. You'll get a beep on the camera and you'll go in and you'll take your picture. So here's my picture. Now I'm gonna do a really quick little bit of editing here. So because I shot in portrait, I've got all of these options so I can get rid of the background, for example, or I can change it to studio lighting, which I'm going to do. I'm just gonna play with the color. So I really like black and white. So I'm just gonna maybe go on the black and white scale for this. Excellent. And I really like sharp and dark contrast. So from here, you can see the light is coming from the side. And all this is, is just a table lamp that I have in my living room. So I'm just gonna crop my image a little bit now. There we go to make it portrait mode. And I'm gonna zoom in so it fits the portrait mode of my camera, fantastic. I'm just gonna save that. I'm gonna jump over to Snapseed and in Snapseed, I'm gonna do some fine tuning. Don't worry if you haven't edited images in your native photo app or if you haven't used Snapseed yet. I have a series of tutorials where I go through both and we're gonna use them to edit images as we progress through this course. So I'm just gonna do this super quick to get the kind of look that I like. I really like harsh, contrasts and black and white tones. And also I like being a little bit silly because life shouldn't be too serious. We all know how serious life is at the moment. So where we can find joy is always good for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna save this and let's have a look at the final results. Okay guys, have a go with self shooting. Do you know, be really inventive. See if you can come up with some really cool, exciting, interesting self portraits. Play with light, play with daylight, play with artificial light, and I'll see you in the next session.